Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. It is double dorking today. We don't do it very often, but when we do it is a huge celebration. You should be very happy to be here because we have two boxes of vintage cards, baseball, football, and now hockey, and some non-sport cards and other sports in here as well. Double dorking features all kinds of vintage packs. You never know what you're going to get, so you're going to get two boxes of vintage cards, two big D20s, and yes, two hosts, because I am joined by the pack opening machine. Hello. Here he is. He heard I was doing double dorking and he could not resist. You excited? Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited too. It's going to be a good time. Of course, the pack opening machine is also the dice rolling machine, so he will be in charge of these objects, and then he'll be in charge of opening these objects, and I will go through them. We got... 40 packs today in here, and as always, we don't skimp when it comes to double dorking. Just because there's twice as many packs doesn't mean that I skimp at all. There are still especially good packs in the 1, 10, and 20 spots in both boxes, and I'll preview those for you right now. And our number one is a 1979 football pack. That's right. In the number one spot in the number one box, we are going back to the 70s. Whenever I pull a 70s pack, I always say I'm never going to put 70s packs in here again because it just doesn't make sense for me to open them given how valuable they are. But I thought for double dorking, we would do one. 1979 Tops football. So we have packs from the 70s, 80s, and 90s in the boxes this week. That is our number one pack. In the number 10 spot in box number one, we have a fan favorite. It is Fleer Metal Universe Baseball. The first year that they did Metal Universe for any kind of sport, I believe baseball was the first one that they did. So that is in our number 10 spot. You guys always love that, and I do too. And our number 20 spot for the first box is Donruss Priority Hockey. We have opened this on the channel before, and you guys really liked it, and I like it as well. So we're going to put this hobby-exclusive product in there. Donruss Priority came out in, what year was it? I think 97. Oh yeah, there it is. 97, 98. In the number one spot in the second box, 1983 Donruss. You guys have seen this baseball pack in the box for, I guess, the last couple of episodes. It hasn't been in there that long, but long enough that it is a very exciting pack that I've been wanting to open. Potential for three Hall of Fame rookies out of there, Boggs, Gwynn, and Sandberg. In our number 10 spot, we are going back pretty far for this one, too. That was an 83 baseball. Here's an 81 Topps hockey pack. Very great pack, very old pack, and that is in our number 10 spot. We'll see how we do there. And in our number 20 spot in the second box is Action Packed Football, another fan favorite pack. You guys always enjoy when I open this. John Madden lurking back there like some sort of rock troll emerging from his cave. It is Action Packed Football. Very nice cards, and that is what you have to look forward to today. How are we going to do? You think we're going to get some good packs today? Yeah. Absolutely. I agree with you. All right. Dice Rolling Machine gets to go at it, and we'll see how we do here. What is going to be from our first box? It will be pack number 17, and I did put something extra interesting in the number 17 spot. It's this orange pack right there, if you want to pull that out for me, pack opening machine. And there it is. It is Tops Kids Baseball, that will be the uh, first pack that we get to open today. That's pretty awesome. What's going to be in the second box on Double Dorking today? It is pack number three. You want to get pack three out of there for me? One, two, and three. It is our first hockey pack of the new season. That is awesome. It is Leaf 93-94 US edition of that. All right, pack opening machine. Get into this Tops Kids Pack. Always enjoy these cards quite a lot. They're very cool cards, and we get to see what's in certain players' fun boxes, which I know the ladies enjoy. Comes with, uh, don't don't throw that away, it comes with a stick of bubblegum, a wrapped stick of bubblegum, which is kind of unusual. That's really the only product that I remember having wrapped bubblegum in it. It's kind of... Uh, a neat thing, and uh, we'll, we'll just keep that keep that front and center right there. And then go through these cards. Start off with the ageless one, Julio Franco, who played in the majors for about 42 years, I believe. Julio Franco, nice to see that. 
Always enjoy his cards. I'll show you the back of this, and we do get to see what's in Julio Franco's fun box. Also, he apparently fishes with a baseball bat, which doesn't seem a good way to fish, but there you go. Baseball players love nicknames. Here are a couple of the all-time greats. Eagle Eye for Jake Beckley. I don't remember Jake Beckley because it was a little before my time in 1886. Goat for Les Chanel from 1910, and Sultan of Swat. Well, that was Babe Ruth's nickname. Everybody knows that. So there you go. Harold Baines, Hall of Famer there from the Athletics, also played for the Orioles. Another Hall of Famer there, Dave Winfield. This is a good pack thus far. I'd like to see that one. Dave Winfield emerging from the Twilight Zone, as you can see there. His fun box says, tips from the pros. Ryan Sandberg says, find a stance at the plate that's comfortable for you. Don't just imitate your favorite pro. That's good advice. Tom Hinkie there with not just a big head, but a big torso. His torso is much larger than his legs. Tom Hinkie, I don't know that. I think that's how he looked in real life. Definitely not. Definitely not. You also, something's so? going on with his arm. Yeah, what is that? What is going on there? Is that a screw in his arm? What is that? Or something climbing on it? It looks like, it looks like some sort of... Uh, Borg mechanical device is poking out of his arm. Tom Henke, clearly with some sort of robotic advantage that until today I didn't even know about. But clearly Tom Henke had some sort of, uh, I don't know, some sort of mechanical part in there helping him. Jeff Bagwell looking very skeptical and who could blame him. Jeff Bagwell glaring out at the opponent, I guess. We got Mark Witten there on the sideways card. And then we got Jose De Leon. On the very cluttered card here with a lot of cartoons on it. Trivia tunes. Which pitcher has won more World Series games than any other in history? That's a good question. Which pitcher has won more World Series? And this is as of, uh, well, I've already forgotten. I think this came out in 95. So which pitcher had won the most World Series games at that point? That's a really good question. Huh. I don't know. That's a tough one. I'm going to guess Whitey Ford. That's my guess. What does it say here? The answer is Hall of Famer Whitey Ford. Yes! He won 10 World Series games from the 50s to the 60s. That's awesome. Cardwolf with the point. All right, we're going to put Dave Winfield on top. And I guess we'll put the baseball ones over here. And then we get into this Leaf 93-94 hockey. I will let the pack opening machine do his it's worst. It's got someone on the back. It's got someone on the back. That's frightening. Who could be on the back of the pack? It looks like Super Mario back there, Mario Lemieux. Very nice of you to point that out for us, back opening machine. Thank you. They don't usually put player pictures on the backs of packs. That may be the only product that has done that. I can't think of another one. I think that uh, Leaf might be the only company that has done that. I really can't think of another... I'm trying to think. I really can't come up with another product that actually put a picture of a player on the back of the pack. You see it on the front of the packs all the time, but you never see it on the back. That's really quite interesting. All right. Got our... Pack opening machine, special opened pack here. That is pretty awesome. We got Nick Creepios from the Whalers and Dave Taylor, Hall of Famer right there from the Kings. Nice card to see that. I'm going to Wolflare that one. Winfield's also going in the Wolflare. I just haven't done it yet. Mikhail Terranov right there. And Tyler Wright from the Oilers. Matthew Barnaby and Damian Rhodes. I haven't shown you the back of these. I'll show you the back because they're also like the Leaf baseball that I've opened on this channel many times with Average Joe. You get to see a little bit of the skyline. So there's the uh, big tower in Toronto, the name of which I can never remember. Mario Lemieux. We did get a Mario Lemieux. Look at that. He's holding the Stanley Cup. I will tell you who would like this card very much. It is Shane at Shoebox Legends who collects cards of players holding the Stanley Cup. Kind of a weird collection, but he's really into it. And it's kind of neat. I like when kind of these unusual collections. So Shane, if you don't have this one, and you need it, even though it's a Lemieux, I will be happy to send it to you. You can see this is in, what is that, 8 out of 10, it says back there. So this is an insert and a nice one. Going to Wolf Lair that, but if Shane wants it, he can have it. Kevin Holler there and Jesse Belanger, no relation to the great defensive shortstop from the Orioles, Mark Belanger, who has the second highest defensive worth above replacement all time. Yeah, Mark Belanger. Put that in your hat and smoke it. Jason Woodley there. Derek Plant looking like uh, he's a little skeptical about what exactly is going on out there. Chris King, not playing for the Kings, but for the Jets. Dave Lowry and Eric Lindros. There's a nice one, too. Nice Lindros card right there. 
There's some sort of Boston landmarky thing, or no, Philadelphia landmarky thing, even worse, in the back. Put that in the wolf lair and put these over here. And the pack opening machine is going to go at it again with these dice. See what we get. The pink one is for box number one. Pushing that all around, and that came up number one. Excellent. That gets our 1979 football pack opened. That is amazing. Out of 40 packs, we hit the one pack from the 1970s. That is amazing. Gotta love that. All right, what's going to be in our second box? It surely will not outdo that pack, but we'll see what it is anyway. Box number two on the second roll is pack number 12. So I know that's pack 10, 11, and 12 is Pro Set Hockey 1990. So we are looking for the hologram Stanley Cup card in there. That's a very valuable card if we pull that. But first, we get to what may be the best pack in any of these boxes. I'm not sure. You guys can tell me what you think in the comments below. Was this the best pack? I don't know. It seems like it to me. Certainly the oldest pack by a couple of years. It is 1979 Topps Football. Pack opening machine has no regard for the wrappers. He's just tearing this one off like Get it's nothing. Gum. Oh, there, there is bubble gum oh, in there. Oh, ew. Gross. <laughs> Let's see how this one looks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's some good looking bubble gum there. That's got some nice mildew or mold on it or something yeah that's good stuff there thanks for that i'll let pack opening machine dispose of that in our radioactive waste container the card on the back is completely ruined by that bubble gum it is roger worley the cornerback for the cardinals who looks as though he was aware his card was going to get ruined by the bubble gum what a what an unhappy mean face he has on so you can see the back and the front are both stained. That card's going to go over to the circular file there, and then we'll go through this pack. Jim Otis, running back for the Cardinals, starts things off. I'll show you the backs in case you have never seen 1979 football. I believe in 1979 football we can get O.J. Simpson, we can get Bradshaw, we can get most of the steel curtain out of here as well. I mean, we're going way back with this one. Let's see if we can get some nice Hall of Famers out of here. Norris Thomas, from the Dolphins, cornerback Mike Pruitt, good running back for the Browns for several years. Robert Newhouse, speaking of good running backs, he was sort of Tony D's backup, Tony Dorsett's backup, but a very good running back in his own right. Al Baker, there you go, great defensive end, Al Baker for the Lions, and he's in the All-Pro game that year, very cool to see that. I'm going to wolf flair that one. Ray Wershing, longtime kicker for the 49ers, and a good one. Flip these over and see Tony Lennart, for the Colts, another kicker there for us. Julie Searle will be delighted about that. She likes kickers. Rich Saul, the center for the Rams, and Ron Jesse, another Rams player, wide receiver there. Clarence Davis, another running back for the Raiders. And we finish off with Teddy Albrecht, good offensive lineman for the Bears. Teddy Albrecht also has uh, some bubblegum damage there, so uh, I think he's going to go the way of the circular file as well. Not too bad. I don't know if we did get a single Hall of Fame, unless Ray Worshing is one, which could be the case. I'm actually not sure, but uh, I don't think we got a single Hall of Famer out of there. I'm going to put, uh, who do I want to put on the top? I'm going to put Newhouse on the top. I always really liked him. Not sure why, as I was not a Cowboys fan. All right, here's our second pack. It is 1990 Pro Set Hockey, and as I said, the Hall of Fame, not the Hall of Fame, the Hologram Stanley Cup card is the big find in here. I've opened boxes and boxes of these looking for that hologram Stanley Cup card, and I've never found it. I've opened some of those boxes on this channel, so you guys know of my quest for that card, and you know how hard it is to get. So we'll see if we pull one out of here. Pack opening machine getting into this, pulling that garbage bag wrapper off of there. What'd you think of that wrapper? It is a garbage bag. <laughs> It is at that. It's very uh, plastic and stretchy. It's it's not a friendly wrapper, I'll put it that way. we got Brent Sutter here starting things off. Nice card in 1990 Pro Set Hockey. We do get a trophy card. It's the Prince of Wales trophy, not the one I'm looking for. Grant Jennings and Bob Sensa. Good goalie there for the Jets. Russ Courtnall and Brett Hull. There we go. Nice goal leader card. Brett Hull. Put that one in the Wolf Lair. Nice card there. Vincent... Rendeau, a Frenchie, undoubtedly. Brendan Shanahan, good player there for the Devils. Like to see that. Mark Jansen's. Looks like he's waving down a taxi. Uh, Mark, I don't think the taxis will 
come and pick you up on the ice, buddy. You got to go outside the stadium for that. Lyndon Byers and Joe Sackick. There you go. Nice early Joe Sackick card. I like that one a lot. I always like Joe Sackick quite a bit. Troy Looney or Loney. Ron Francis All Star card. Ron Francis, a Hall of Famer as well. And Patrick Raw, a nice All Star game card of that goalie. Pretty cool to see that. Scott Arnell, and we get the uh, propaganda card there. We'll go off to the circular file as well. I'm going to put Ron Francis on top. Always enjoyed him. Good player for the Whalers for many years. All right, we've got, I'm going to have to mix this up. We got two hockey packs, one football, which I'll put over here, and one baseball, just like that, so that we can keep track. All right, pack opening machine. Be the dice rolling machine once again and see what we get out of these two boxes. What's coming out of the first box? It is pack number four. All right, we already opened pack one, so see what pack number four is. This is two, three, and pack four is a Lion King pack from the Disney movie The Lion King. Eight cards in the Skybox product from the 90s. That will be our first pack. I warned you that there's all kinds of weird stuff in here. You never know what's going to come out of the box when dorking with dice or what's going to happen with this die it wants to roll off the table. It is pack 19. So what is that? This is another hockey pack. Wow, this is a great day for hockey. First time we've added hockey to the box this season, so that's pretty awesome. Pack opening machine getting into that Lion King pack. We'll see what we get out of there. I believe you can pull hollows out of the Lion King product, as I recall, so we might get a Lion King hologram. We'll see about that. Those of you who have not seen Double Dorking before, this is the kind of random vintage pack that sometimes shows up when we do the double dorking. You just never know what you're going to see here. All right, we got... I can't remember the name of that character. Okay, and it doesn't tell you on the back. That's the first thing that I would put on the back if I were Tops, the name of the character. He looks like a weird monkey. He is a weird monkey. That's completely correct. He is a weird monkey. We'll just call it that. We got uh, the Circle of Life, young Simba. Simba's the main character in, in Lion King. We haven't really watched a lot of Disney movies in, in our family, so my son has not seen this movie. And I saw it, believe it or not, when it came out in the theaters. I had a girlfriend at the time who was really into Disney movies, so we'd see them all. It was a long time ago. I think that's Scar. I think I remember him as being the villain in The Lion King. He uh, doesn't have a scar yet, so that must be earlier in the movie. There's the Lion King's mom, Simba's mom, whose name I do not remember. And I think that's Simba trying to reach for something or keep from slipping into a volcano or something. Sit down before you hurt yourself. There's Pumbaa and Timon. And there's young Simba with a bird. Is that a toucan, do you think? Maybe. I think so. I think it is. And there it is again, doing some sort of yoga pose. Toucans doing yoga. That's the name of my new band. Two cans doing yoga, and our first album is going to be called Doggy Pose. Downward Facing Dog, is that what it's called? I don't do yoga, so I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. I think that's what, that's what we're going to go with. Put this pack over here, and then we get into 93, 94 hockey. Yes. I'm going to go do Downward Facing Dog over here while you open that, so I can stretch out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can feel loosening up now. Oh, man. That feels great. Oh, yeah. Man, i got to do more of this yoga. That's really helpful. Ooh, yeah, that, oh, yeah, I can really feel the muscles opening right up there. Flexing my abs like you can't believe. That's what you do when you're doing downward facing dog, right? Maybe. I don't know. You've probably done more yoga than I have, actually. Don't you do it in PE sometimes? Uh, that was once. That was once? Well, yeah. then, yes, you have done more yoga than I have. Successfully done more yoga than I have. Congratulations. We got Brian Bellow starting off this pack of 93 Premier Hockey. Very nice show you the backs of these because you do have a different picture on the back which i always appreciate brian bellows and we got uh got a super rookie of andre kavalenko what are you doing down are you doing yoga now what are you doing mm -hmm. is that some sort of uh, it looks like sort of a, a meerkat pose i'm not quite sure what that is that's pretty cool we got uh ulf samuelson his first name is ulf what do you think about that Wolf? No, Ulf. Ulf. Yeah, John Van Beesbrook, a very good goalie for quite a long time. There he is. And uh, these are all backwards. I don't know why, but that's what we have there. Roger Johansson from Calgary. And we got Kevin Miller and more backwards cards. I think this was an upper deck product the way this is going. Or we got Ed Belfour. There's a very nice one. Eddie Belfour, one of the great goalies of all time and a Hall of Famer. Pat Verbeek, another good player there, good winger. Nice to see that. And what do we have here? Alexei Kovalev. 
And then we get a, uh, a gold letter card. It's Chris Contos gold letter card. You get one of those per pack, I believe. So we got ours. And Lemieux. How about that? We got two Lemieux today. We got a hockey pack out of every roll for uh, the round. That's pretty nice. Steve Casper there. He looks very uncomfortable and awkward. I don't know what's happening there. Ow. Yeah, that doesn't look comfortable at all. Looks like he has placed his stick in this man's groin, maybe? I'm not sure what's going on there. It doesn't look good, though. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> That doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. I agree with you. That's that's why I don't play hockey or do <laughs> yoga, because you end up in situations like that, and I don't want to be in that kind of a situation. It's yeah? funny. It is funny. I agree. All right. Should we roll more dice, or are we all done with this craziness? I think, I think we'll roll one more. Yeah. Which box do you want to roll? We're going to roll one more pack. Okay. You want to roll Let's box one or box two? Let's do box two. Box two. All right, we got one pack out of box two, and that'll finish things off. That'll be uh, lucky seven packs for us, and it is pack 19, which is... Did well, we already do 19? Yeah, we, we already, already did 19. Did all right, roll again. Roll again, my friend. Pack opening machine and dice rolling machine, pack three. All right, that's up here. la -dee da It is a Superman pack. How about that? I, I told you, there's all kinds of weird stuff in the boxes, so there you go. He has that a is... weird expression. He does Let's see what's going on with uh, Clark Kent's face there. He does have a weird expression. He looks, uh, I don't know. He looks doubtful is what he looks. He's thinking, if I take my shirt off and reveal this uniform, are people going to make fun of me? You think that's what he's thinking? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe he's thinking he might, he might have to lead a yoga class if he, if he does that. Why so much yoga? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just, you know. <laughs> Something that There's people do. There's a lot do. of yoga popping up. There is a lot of yoga popping up. It's like a weed. You can't, just can't get rid of it. All right. Man, you've mangled that Superman pack. Well done, sir. Really nice job with that. All right. Here are the Superman cards. What is going on here? What is this? This is uh, Steel Savior. That's Steel. He's a character in the Superman comic books as well. And he wears a steel outfit, like a suit of armor almost. And, and yet he flies. How does he fly with that much steel wrapped around his body? I can't tell you. He's a superhero. Maybe he can go really, really fast? I guess he can. That's an unstoppable war suit. Those are what the backs of these cards look like, by the way. And then we got Surrounded by Death! That doesn't look pleasant. Yeah. I don't think I'd enjoy that. Glad I'm not Superman. I'd be running yoga classes and be surrounded by death all the time. There's America's <laughs> Guardian. Looks like a uh, part robot, part person. That's scary. I don't like it. And there's dis... what does that say? Disgraced in defeat? Is that steel again? I don't know what's going on on these cards, i got to tell you. There's Supergirl, Superboy together, flying around. Oh wait, I think I see what this is. What's that? There's this guy. Yeah, there's that guy. Okay. And this guy. Oh, I see. Well, maybe steel beat up Superman. That doesn't seem very friendly, though. I don't believe that. Simultaneous attacks. Ow. Yeah, ow indeed. That's what it looks like is going that on in this like yoga. hockey card right here. A simultaneous attacks is what's going on there. It doesn't look pleasant, I'll tell you that. And then we got Hunter of the Night. Hunter of the Night. I don't think that's a reference to the 80s TV series Hunter starring former football player Fred Dreyer, but it could be. Maybe that's what it was about. Would you read a Hunter comic book? I don't think I would. No. I wouldn't even watch the Hunter TV series. It was that bad. All right, we're all done today with these crazy shenanigans. Thanks for tuning in for Dorking with Dice and the first Card Wolf yoga class. We've done it all today. Thank you, Pack Opening Machine, for your service. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I hope, I hope the rest of you did, too. Give the uh, video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I certainly appreciate it, and it helps the channel quite a bit. I'll be back on Monday with a mail day opening and i hope you enjoy your weekend have some great plans and uh just relax if that's all you want to do are you gonna have a good weekend yeah yeah we are we're gonna do some all, all kinds of good stuff we've got planned it's gonna be a lot of fun i'll see you back here monday have a great weekend thank you as always for coming out to the channel and happy, happy collecting, collecting.